Peter Bloom. I am a freelance domino physicist. I've been a freelance domino physicist as my main line of work for the past 10 years or so. And um, I have come to the, to the school today to guide the different grade levels in making enormous cooperative domino chain reactions all around the gym floor. And uh, on the face of it, on the surface of it, it's all about the physics of how domino chain reactions work. How many uh, dominoes did you use today? We used about set between seven and 8,000 dominoes between the chains and the towers. The obvious uh, points we focus on are potential and kinetic energy. When they stand a domino up, they provide a small amount of potential stored up energy in the domino just by virtue of standing it up on its flat base. If the dominoes were round on the bottom, of course, they couldn't store up the energy and they'd fall right back down again. But because they're flat on the bottom, uh, they're able to hold on to that little bit of stored up energy until they get triggered by the domino before them. So there's the potential energy. Uh, depending on the age of the kids, I'd get into other uh, terminology, uh, such as kinetic energy, which is what a lot of the potential energy gets trans transformed into when the domino chain reaction starts moving. Kinetic energy being the moving energy. They have access to thousands of dominoes, and they have access to many extra teammates to help them. Uh, but the trade-off is they have to figure out how to work together with their teammates and support their teammates in addition to expecting support from their teammates. videographer is the domino <laughs> chain surrounding him. Okay, bro, uh oh, trouble. <laughs> That's all right, we're tough, we can take it, and we're late. Don't move, stay where you are. 